Have you ever wondered why your car may or may not go from zero to 60 miles per hour in two seconds flat? It has everything to do with the torque and horsepower of your engine or motor. Don't know what the difference is? You've come to the right place. Horsepower and torque are indications of your car's performance, which is frequently boasted about in automotive ad campaigns. In technical terms, one horsepower is equal to a force of 550 pounds acting through one foot in one second or a foot-pound of work. Horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5,252. It doesn't have as much to do with off-the-line speed, but once the car takes off, the ability to maintain a high velocity is where horsepower counts the most. It is a major factor in determining just how fast a vehicle is capable of moving or its top speed. Torque, then, is the twisting force an action generates. It is responsible for how quickly a car can accelerate from a stop. Torque equals horsepower times 5,252 divided by your RPM. Torque becomes crucial if you plan to tow, because the amount of work and force produced in the engine directly relates to how much the vehicle can tow and haul. Drive an electrified vehicle, you've probably noticed just how much sharper its off-the-line acceleration is compared to your last gas-powered ride. Even if you've got a lower-powered EV, you're feeling 100% of the possible torque as soon as you step on the throttle. Electric motors are capable of a completely linear delivery of torque from zero rotations per minute on up. Though manufacturers are also able to tune this power curve to align more with the mission of the vehicle. Sharper tuning can provide the rocket launch acceleration associated with performance EVs, while softer tuning may yield a more docile experience for softer, luxury-oriented vehicles. Internal combustion engines, on the other hand, must build up power before reaching peak horsepower and torque output. If you drive a vehicle with a turbocharger or supercharger, torque delivery can peak sooner in the RPM range because more air is forced into the engine earlier during acceleration. Otherwise, most engines need to get up to at least 3000 RPM, give or take, before they hit their maximum power. While horsepower and torque do go hand in hand to ensure a fast ride, they are still two completely different aspects of your engine's capability. You can't have one without the other, but you can have one high and one low. Look at big trucks, for example. When equipped with the 3.5 liter Power Boost Hybrid V6 engine, the Ford F-150 produces up to 570 pound-feet of torque, but you wouldn't bet on that truck in a drag race. Why not? Despite its high torque, it only produces 450 horsepower. While that is a healthy amount, when you factor in the vehicle's weight, the horsepower would have to be much higher for it to compete in a high-speed race. However, the F-150 Hybrid's torque helps its towing and payload capacity, much more important factors for most truck buyers. Want to learn more about power delivery in all kinds of vehicles? Kelly Blue Book's got you covered with the link in the description.